Okay, so this time on series, we're about to end or conclude our chapter nine video lecture. We only have one transaction to put in. We'll run some reports. We'll check our figures and get ready for our chapter nine homework. So our last transaction from our source document is on page 477, and we're going to enter a bill, okay? So uh, my expense tab is already up. If need to, you just go to your expenses, or you should click on your bills tab. Either way, it will take you to the same system. I'm going to click on add bill, create a bill. Again, we're on page 477. This vendor is going to be the conference call company. The date is 2-27. Bill number is 385CC. We're going to order six of the webinars. Total bill amount should equal $270. Go ahead and click where it says save and close. Okay. We can now run our reports to check to make sure that we recorded all of the transactions appropriately for the month of February. Let's run a journal. I'll click on my reports tab. Let's go to the journal. The date for the journal, again, I like the classic view. The date for the journal is going to be for the month of February. And you can see all of the transactions that you posted for the month of February. You can compare your journal to the journals in the textbook from 478 all the way over to 483. It is showing you all of the transactions that should be in your general journal. Let's do a trial battle, shall we? Okay, we shall. Reports. Let's go to the trial balance, which is here already. Let's click on trial balance. And let's run the trial balance. Yeah, no, don't like that format. Never mind. Try to take a shortcut. I'll just type in trial balance. Didn't like how they look. So the trial balance will be as of 2.27. The end of the month of February. Okay. Well, really, this February has 29 days, but I think we start at the 27th. We'll do it because of 29. And compare your trial balance against the trial balance on page 484. Total of your debit and credit columns should equal 90800 $46.35. Also compare the individual accounts to make sure the balances you have on your account matches those shown at the end of chapter nine. Okay. Let's run a few other reports. We'll look at account receivable agent summary. So again, go to my reports. And I'll go to the account receivable agent summary. There we go. And let's run that report as of, the book keeps saying 227, but 224 is actually a leap year. So we'll go 227, that should be good enough. And it's showing that the summary, again, is the same amount, that $1,615.87. Let's see what do we have in our inventory. So let's do a inventory evaluation report. So QuickBooks has so many different types of reports that you can run. 
which is great. I'm going to do an inventory valuation summary. And once again, we do it as of 227. Let's run that report. So it's showing us what we have in inventory from quantity perspective, as well as the asset value and the cost per item. So our total asset valuation should equal $11,120. Okay. There are some other reports that are going to run. We'll do a few more. Let's do our P&L report, profit and loss report. So I'll go to my reports tab, profit and loss. And we're going to do a profit and loss report from January of this year. Until 227 of this year. Let's run that report. Total income should be 17790 Cost of goods sold, 8895 And your net income, $6,994.42. Okay. We have that statement of cash flow report that often. So let's do a statement of cash flow report. It's on page 488. So for our statement of cash flow report, again, the ass update should be 227. And let's run that report to check your, so this is what we call the indirect method of the statement of cash flow. When you begin with an accrual based net income, determine what items should be added in or subtracted from that to determine your net cash and your operating activities. And in our example, we don't have an investor financing activities. So it's showing that our ending cash balance $49,064.90. Okay? So your Chapter 9 homework will begin on page 491 for exercise 9-1. You're going to do a reconciliation. And then for exercise 9-2, you're going to run various reports based upon the information that you completed doing the chapter nine, what I like to call the end class material. So the hard begin on page 491, continues to page 494. You will then complete exercise 9-3 using the Connect software. Okay? I hope you have enjoyed your chapter nine video lectures. Give me some feedback on how you like these lectures, okay? With that being said, have a good day.